Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan Ash and I finally did my first piece of end game content. A little bit of background. I am a noob, like a super grindy noob, but a noob no less in Final Fantasy XIV. I had never done Savage, Extreme, Unreal, nada, nothing. Luckily, I had been invited to join a new Discord with these pretty great people who I've been playing with for a few weeks now. They took me into my first piece of endgame content, Sea to Sacrifice no less, and I learned so many things about preparing for that endgame content. This guide is geared towards beginners like myself and how I prepare to jump into this content and what you need to bring to the table. Disclaimer, unless you have a ton of money to be able to procure all the things you need, it will probably take some time. So don't expect to jump into the content right away after watching this video. It's easy to chip away at these things each day or a few times a week. If you have anything else to add to this list that is super helpful and constructive, then comment down below to share your resources to help build that end game community. If you like these kind of videos, boop that like button and let's jump into the video. Rotations and opener. Knowing your rotation is obviously super important. I wanted to get to the point where I did not even have to look down at the skills for parts of my rotation other than to check timers. The reason being is that C to Sacrifice was so mechanic heavy that most of the time you're watching the visual cues and target progress bar to see what attacks are coming next. Knowing your rotation are vital to making sure you're keeping up with the DPS checks and just overall being able to beat the boss. I prepared by using the Balance Discord and Ockmorn website, which I will link down below, in order to get decently proficient at this. It honestly did not take as long as I thought to get pretty good, really just maybe an hour to understand and then practice every day to keep it front of mind. There are people out there who are going to pick it up right away, and then there's others like me who are going to need a little bit more time, so just figure out where you're at on your learning curve and practice, practice, practice. These were the two key resources to help me learn my rotation as well as jump back into my rotation in case I died or missed the GCD due to ping. The last thing you want is learning your rotation while you're in the fight and kind of having someone call you out for it. Knowing your rotation is something you have control over, so make sure you put in the appropriate time for you to learn that rotation. All that being said, nothing is perfect. Believe me, uncomfortable situations exist and you will get someone who's probably going to be condescending even if they don't mean to be. Just respond positively and take any constructive criticism that you can find to get better. Don't respond defensively as most of the time that's what the hidden toxic players want. Just do your best and if you feel like you're in a bad party finder, then gracefully exit. This is pretty rare though in my experience, everyone is generally pretty nice. Number two, gear. It goes without saying that you should be geared for the content you want to play. There are tons of resources out there, the Balance Discord as well as Ockmorn, that can show you what kind of gear and material you need. There are going to be people out there that say, no, you don't need this or you have to have that. I am just going to share my experience and what I had at the time and I did just fine. I was playing as a ninja with item level 514. I was nearly pentamelted with missing only two slots of materia. Again, this is where people I know are going to jump in and say you have to be pentamelted while others say it's not necessary depending on the content you're playing. Just to play it safe, I made sure that I was 98% melded in order to put me above what I needed to be to play the content. With the current patch getting 510 is pretty easy. Rather you craft it, have a friend craft it, or just buy it from the market board over time. I myself would not feel comfortable going in below 510 and at least three to four spots melded on every piece of gear, as well as having the appropriate consumables, having the correct food and potion included in your rotation, I felt gave me the edge. It really helped me with the confidence, even though I was clueless in some of the content until it was being explained to me in the fight. They're easy to get, but made a big difference in stats and breathing room for damage. Number three, research your fight. This is one of the things that helped me the most. I watched a ton of different videos on the content I was trying to play. 
For example, Seed of Sacrifice, I watched about four different videos with four different strategies. I was focusing on the actual boss skills instead of the strategy as I heard it would have slightly differed depending on the group and the experience of the group. But because I was aware of each of the mechanic in theory, it made it a lot easier to learn it while we were playing through it. This also mixed with someone in the group doing callouts made it pretty easy for me to adapt and learn what I needed to learn right there on the spot. Another thing I did was I also read the word version of the fight to match the mechanic. So I knew exactly what the mechanic was and the visual cue was. Seed of Sacrifice is apparently super mechanic heavy. So this is what I think made it much easier to pick it up as we were going through. I myself would probably never enter a fight without first watching a few videos and reading the mechanics unless otherwise told so. It never hurts to be too prepared. Which moves us on to number four, Stone Sky C. Talking about being too prepared, these are super important to measure up before you jump into a fight. You will unlock these in the corresponding expansions and can initiate them through that proper NPC. I will put the link to the Final Fantasy Gamer Escape website where you can look over the quest and information on each specific striking dummy. Essentially, this is super fun and important because you can keep initiating the fight to practice your opener and your rotation. Of course, it does not simulate the battle and the mechanics with the AOEs, but at least you can get a good idea of how much health and how much damage you do in relativeness to that trial or content. Number five, be ready to die and learn. This is the one thing that I was super grateful that my Discord taught me. You are going to die a lot before you get it on your first couple of runs. Dying is bad, but constructive. Not learning from what killed you or the mechanic you were missing is even worse. Be ready to take constructive criticism because someone might be able to teach you something otherwise you would have not known about the fight or did not catch yourself. Even when you're dead, sometimes your team just keeps going so then you can get a look at the next mechanic and know where you're supposed to be. Watch what's going on and what happens next. Majority of the community is so helpful and will take the time to teach you because ultimately, they always need more players who know more content because it's a win-win for everybody. Our cliche number six is just do it. You honestly have to just jump in. No amount of preparedness will be the same as the experience. And as long as you're super upfront about not having any experience with the fight, most people will teach you. Voice chat was my best friend in my opinion, so I can hear the callouts and communicate better with my team. All in all, it was an amazing experience and gave me enough confidence to wanna to try and do other endgame content. I can tell you now that the fear of doing it is way worse than actually doing it. It is hard, but it's not as hard as you're making it seem to be in your own head. Just follow the steps, prepare yourself, and enjoy your endgame content. Thank you for watching my video. If you like these kind of videos, then hit that subscribe button and comment down below for your first experience to motivate others to learn that endgame content. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.